Breaking news are flowing everywhere that Vedit Gujarati ended the 47th streak of the Hikaru Nakamura. And the way he ended this streak is quite phenomenal. This is the round 2 of the Fede candidates with the white we have Hikaru Nakamura and with black Vedit Gujarati. I will provide the whole detailed analysis of this game. So the opening they have chosen is Royal Lopez Berlin defense. E4, E5 controlling the center, knight to f3, knight to c6, fighting for the d4 square and now bishop to b5, Royal Lopez. Here you can play a6 to go for the Morphe's defense but with it chooses knight to f6 which is a Berlin defense. Even though how solid this opening is, white loses his game in only 29 moves. Here your e4 pawn is attacked, you can castle here which leads to a very sharp line. You can also defend the pawn with knight to c3, but Nakamura defends it with d3. With this plays bishop to c5, so in the near future if he plays d6, this bishop will not be blocked. Naka continued with c3, so taking the square of a knight and also preparing b4. Both players castles here and with it plays d6. Naka continued with h3, so preventing bishop to g4. With it continued with knight to e7, which makes the d4 little ineffective. For example, let's say if you play rook to e8 after d4, bishop to b6, and d5, white is claiming a great space in the center. So after knight to e7, d4 anyway, but with it didn't move his bishop, he plays c6. If both players accepted the bishop, you could see this line where with it will have a double b pawn. But Naka decides against it and plays bishop to d3. Now your bishop is really attacked so he saved it on b6. With it is gambiting a pawn here and Naka accepts it. And here with it unleashes his prep by playing bishop takes h3. Keep in mind this bishop takes h3 is only working due to the b6 bishop pinning the f pawn. Naka decides to play knight to c4 which was a horrible mistake. Best for Naka was to take the bishop, now can you guys see a move which wins a piece back to black. The move is calm and brilliant, queen to b8. Now white can't move the knight otherwise he will be completely losing. Let's say if white plays knight to c4 after queen to g3 check and taking the pawn, black has knight to g4 and you have to give up your queen. Similarly, after knight to f3, after queen to g3 check and taking the pawn, black will not play knight to g4 as queen can take it, he will play rook to d8 and he is winning a piece by force. Best for Naka was to play bishop to f4, after bishop to c7 play bishop to g3 and after taking the knight play f4. So after knight to c4, Widis saves his bishop on g4 and queen goes to c2. With this plays bishop to c7 which allows e5 and Hikaru can take the h7 pawn. So game continued with king to h8 and bishop goes back to d3. With it can grab the e5 pawn but first he plays b5 knight to d3 and then he grabs it. Here your bishop is attacked twice and rook to d1 is not a good option so white plays bishop to e2. And with it plays f5, so if you take the bishop, he will take back with the pawn and g3 will be quite annoying. But this was his best shot. Here Naka plays an incredible blunder with f4. He thought with it will move his knight, but no, he plays bishop to b6 and sacrificing the whole knight. If you accept the knight, you will see knight to d5 and if you play king to f2, you will see queen to h4 check, g3 is forced and then bishop takes e3 and if you take with the bishop, you will see queen to h2 check, king to e1 and knight takes e3. Which gives black a completely winning position. So Hikaru plays king to f2 but knight to d5 anyway. So Hikaru throws rook to h1 check, king to g8 and now he takes the knight as queen to h4 check is not available but black has queen to g5. Now there is no way to save the knight if you play queen to d3, knight to f4 wins a piece so here Naka plays king back to e1. So we have bishop takes knight, Naka takes the light score bishop and queen takes bishop. Game continued with bishop takes bishop and knight takes bishop. Naka offers a queen trade and with it plays queen to g3 check. If white plays queen to f2, he is going to take the queen and then plays knight to c2. 
So Naka plays king to d2 but rook a to c8 and king goes to c1. Wizards plays queen to g5 and Naka can't do anything about this discovery. Because if white plays knight to d2, you will see knight to c4 and if you defended rook to d1, you will see rook takes d2 and after rook takes d2 and rook to d8, you are just getting checkmated soon. So Naka plays b3 here but after knight to f1, he resigned the game as there is no defense of knight to g3. So this was the analysis of this beautiful game. If you like the game, do like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more candidates videos.